Hey guys, my name is Aaron Massey and welcome back to another episode of Homeschooled. Today's project, I'm going to show you how you can add some curb appeal to your home by adding a custom glass insert into your front door. Buying a new glass front door can be a little bit expensive, so today I'm going to show you how you can DIY and save yourself some money by adding a glass insert to your existing front door. This video is brought to you by Zabitat.com, makers of custom glass inserts and resources to bring new life to your old doors. For a full list of their products, visit Zabitat.com. I rate these projects by how many F-bombs you're likely to drop while tackling the project. This one is not too difficult, but you might need a friend to give you an extra set of hands. So we've got this nice piece of glass that Zabitat sent over. And before I do any work on the existing door, I'm just gonna verify the measurements of the insert. And I'm gonna do that by removing the inside frame of the glass by removing the few screws they have holding it in place. And now that I have the frame removed, I can measure the insert. I'm measuring from the outside edge of the screw mounts on each side. And in this case, the cutout has to be 23 inches by 65 inches. So we're gonna be installing this decorative piece of glass into the front door which means I have to cut a big hole in the front door, which can be a little bit sketchy, but I'm confident that I can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm gonna start by removing the lock set and the hardware from the door. I like to just keep everything together and just set it aside so that I don't misplace anything. And now that the hardware is off, I can pop the hinge pins and carry the door outside and set it up on my sawhorses. Next, I'm gonna remove the existing glass that's in the door so that I can measure and mark where the new glass is gonna go. I do that by just removing the screws that are holding the glass frame in place. If the glass frame doesn't come out, take a razor blade and just score along the base of it. There may be some adhesive or sealant that's holding it in place. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just make sure that the measurements that I have for the glass and everything are gonna work. I don't wanna risk cutting this door only to find out that it's not gonna fit. So make sure you check the instruction manual. Make sure you check your door before you order so that you know the glass that you're getting is gonna work with your door. So it looks like in this case, I'm gonna be perfectly able to cut out these panels from side to side, all the way from basically where the existing indentations are, all the way to where the existing door is cut. That's gonna be my panel insert that just runs from here all the way up over and across. Now the way that I'm gonna cut this glass out once I lay everything out is I'm just gonna use a jigsaw with a metal blade because this is a steel door. Most people may not be familiar with the fact that their steel door is actually pretty much hollow in the middle. In this case, this is a steel outer door with foam on the inside. So once you get through this steel, the foam is really easy. You don't have to cut all the way through. But before we do that, I need to lay out and mark exactly where our lines are gonna be make sure that we're all square so that we can just make our necessary cuts, put the glass insert in, close it up, it'll be good. So we're pretty much just gonna connect the dots here. Just gonna connect from here to here, from here to there. All right, moment of truth. About to cut this door. Wish me luck. I'm gonna make two passes. I'm gonna make one pass on the inside, one pass on the outside. I'm not gonna cut through all the way with one pass. Tilting the blade back slightly because this blade's a little bit too long for what I'm doing. So I'm kind of just keeping the pressure on the backside. Ta da! Toss that over there. So now we've got our new opening in our door to set our glass in. So next I'm gonna set the glass on the sawhorses with the outside frame facing down and then set the door on top of it and get it lined up. What's really nice about this is that there's actually a sealant strip built right into the frame so you don't have to worry about adding a silicone sealant around the frame. You just install it and then tighten the frame together with the included screws and you're good to go. Okay, we're ready to go, baby. Now I'm gonna reinstall the door, if I can carry the door. God, Jesus! <sighs> Sweet mamma jamma. That boy's heavy now. Okay. <gasps> and then lastly, I'm gonna reinstall the hardware. You might have to do a little touch up paint as well if your door has been painted. And that is it, we are done with this project. 
Well, hopefully this video gave you a little bit of a taste of not only what's possible when adding curb appeal to your house, but also give you a little bit of confidence that you can do this as well. It's not a super difficult project and you can knock it out in a couple hours. Maybe you need an extra set of hands to help you move the door, but otherwise it's relatively straightforward. I wanna thank Zabitat.com for providing the glass that I used in this video. And as a special thank you to my audience, if you guys wanna get your own decorative glass insert, you can use the promo code MrFixit15 at checkout and get 15% off your order. So make sure you go to Zabitat.com and check out all the options. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button and leave a comment down below and let me know. Also, if you wanna check out more of my videos, I'll leave links to those right here or you can visit my website at mrfixitdiy.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.